Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. So, you guys know what this box is right here. You know what this design is, this little asterisk right here. I do not need to tell you, this is a box of Erin Condren goodies. So I have already opened this box just to briefly peruse my goodies, um, but I have not actually taken anything out of the package yet. So, to save space on my desk, I am going to just set the box on the floor and we are going to go through these goodies. Now, I do have affiliate links in the description box down below, as well as a link for you to sign up for a $10 off coupon if you are new to Erin Condren. The coupon will be emailed to you and then I will also get a referral bonus, so to say, as well, if you use my link. So I want to thank Tori and the Erin Condren team for sending me this box of goodies. I am very grateful for the opportunity to review this stuff for you guys, and it's very exciting. So thank you to them. Now let's get to it. Okay, so... The first thing I got, I've been meaning to order these for months now, and I just keep forgetting, is these are the Neutral Monthly Adhesive Tabs. I don't have my on-the-go folio down here, but I guess I can show you in one of these other, let me see here. Okay, this one will work. So I'm planning to use it in my Petite Planner to just mark the months. So nothing exciting that I'm planning to do with these, but I do think it'll be helpful because they're not indented or anything like that. And there are three months in this petite planner. So I wanted a way to be able to mark out, you know, January, February, and March. So I went ahead and ordered those adhesive tabs since I've been meaning to do that for a long time. I also went ahead and got one of these adhesive elastic pen holders in the gold. I got the two large corner pockets, which I love these. I use these in the on the go folio. And then I also have one, I don't have one in my life planner binder, but I do have one in my budget binder that I use to store my budget stickers and whatnot. And I actually did not put one in the back. So I'm not sure if I will need two of these or not. But this is something that I'm super excited about because this is a new product. This is the On The Go Folio Insert Organizer and I have not taken it out yet because I wanted to wait until I got a chance to do that with you guys. So I'll probably do something on my Insta stories with this later. I've been kind of thinking about how I want to use this, but We'll see. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, head over there and do that so that you don't miss out. So let's see. This will just slide in. Let's use, this is one of my other on-the-go folios that I have down here. And this that I have in here is not an Erin Condren product. This was just something that I got from Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And I obviously didn't do anything with them at this point, but that's okay. Okay, so how this will go in is I believe it'll just go kind of like in the middle of your petite planners. And it'll be just like that. So this side is a pocket, which that's a fairly large pocket. Let's see. This is a um, sheet of Planner Kate stickers. So I don't think it'll fit all the way in there. Nope, it's gonna be a little too short. But I think it will definitely fit a sheet. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and mess with that in there. It will definitely fit a sheet of Erin Condren stickers if that's how you choose to use it. I was also thinking that it could be used for decorative elements. Like you could kind of use it as like a decorative dashboard if you wanted to create one like seasonal dashboard on like some 
Christmas scrapbook paper, or whatever, using die cuts, what have you, you could store that in there. So there's quite a few different things that you can do with it. And then back here, we have the three um, pockets that you can use. Let's see, I'm pretty sure this said. So the, the three small pockets that you can use to store business cards, ID cards, credit cards, what have you. And then this side has like the two medium sized pockets that you could use to store like receipts or you could even fit photos in here, any number of things. So actually how you would do this is it would go on the other side of these as well. So you would just slip all of your petite planners through there and then it would go like that. And then you would have that. So I'm pretty excited about this. I feel like it kind of opens up a lot of possibilities for people who use the on the go folio. It doesn't seem, yeah, it, it doesn't stick out excessively. So I think that'll be really nice. It'll definitely give people more options. So I'm going to set that aside and I will take that out in a few minutes. But what I am most excited about is the deluxe monthly planner in the binder version. You guys, I'm so stoked about this. So if you have been around my channel for any length of time, then you know that I absolutely love the binder. I have been using my life planner binder since it first came out. I think I started using it in June. And then a couple of months later, I ordered this Sapphire binder and I uncoiled my coil bound deluxe monthly and I added it to this binder and I've been using it for several months now. And I absolutely love it. I love the fact that I get to take pages out and rearrange them. I get to add additional notes pages if I need them, which I do need them every month. The five notes pages that come in this is just not enough for me. So I'm super excited to be able to tell you guys what I think about this deluxe monthly planner binder. And I can't wait until January of 2020 so that I can start using it. So this time I got this beautiful blush pink color. I have the colorful kaleidoscope and then the blue sapphire. And now I have the beautiful blush color. I, I adore this color. It's so pretty. I thought that it would be a good idea to go ahead and try to use this light color like this because I'm curious to know how well like fingerprints and whatnot will rub off this. So I don't have any trouble with either the kaleidoscope or the sapphire binders looking dirty. Um, so I don't anticipate that I'll have any trouble with this because it's like this nice, soft, um, it's a light canvas almost, like a book cloth. So I don't expect that I'll have any trouble. It should wipe right off. I love the gold coils, which is why I got this gold elastic um, pen holder because I wanted it to coordinate with the gold coil. So I think that is just so beautiful. I will say that the Deluxe Monthly is definitely much thinner than the 18 month life planner. So you could definitely add some daily pages to this or even combine the weekly life planner pages with the Deluxe Monthly if you wanted to. You may have to break it up into like six months sections if you decide to do that, depending on how many stickers you use on your pages. But I definitely think that it would work. So I have read, and I don't understand why. Let me get one of the pages of my life planner out so I can compare. So someone had said that the pages on the Deluxe Monthly 
um, the holes were smaller. And they definitely are, which I don't understand because I almost feel like the, the holes on the life planner could be a little thicker. So I would really be interested in knowing why the pages um, have smaller holes in the Deluxe Monthly. And they're also a different shape. I don't know if you can tell. They're more like an elongated oval versus the circle. So I'm interested in seeing how the pages turn. I don't have any trouble in my life planner. Um, I know some people complain about that, but to be honest with you, my pages turn just fine in my life planner. I mean, I, I guess I haven't used a binder type planner before, so maybe I just don't understand what people are talking about. I don't know. So I'm anxious to see how these pages turn on the smaller holes. Honestly though, it's not that big of a deal to me to just take a hole punch and make these holes bigger if I need to. But again, like I said, I would definitely like to know why, first off, why the rings are smaller, and secondly, why they're a different shape. So let's see, I may have to do this in smaller sections. Uncoiling my Deluxe Monthly and putting it into the binder was not really that difficult. But I will say, I did not really enjoy uncoiling the binder. Well, uncoiling it, coiling it wasn't so bad, but it did um, definitely make it so that my coil can't be reused for other things. It, well, it could, but I would have to do some bending because the bottom of it did get a little misshaped. So let's not do that quite yet, or these, let's see. So I think I'll definitely have to get some filler paper for this. I probably should have just went ahead and ordered it at the same time, but um, I wasn't really sure exactly what I would need, but I do think that I will need some extra notes pages. Although I might be able to just pull them out of my current binder. Okay, so that wasn't too, too bad. So that, that definitely leaves a lot of room. So if you like to use stickers and whatnot, you will not have to worry about that. You will for sure have enough room in this binder. So we have the title page. You, you don't have the um, vellum page like you do in the life planner binder, but I don't think that you get, I'm gonna check, I don't think you get the vellum page, nope, in the deluxe monthly coiled planner either. So that's not a big deal at all. I think this pink cover is like it totally glam. Like the the blush and I just love it. It's just kind of got a glam feel to it. So let's see. So these are beautiful. So this is the colorful version. Um my deluxe monthly binder that I'm using right now, because remember it was a coiled deluxe monthly, is um the neutral. So I do like this, how you have the notes pages right here. That's kind of nice. And then these are the same. So let's see. So it does kind of turn a little more difficult than the life planner. So I probably will go ahead and just take a regular one quarter inch hole punch and just punch these holes a little bigger. And then I think that'll be totally fine. I would do that right now, but I, well, let's see. I guess I do have my hole punch right here. So let's do, let's try this one. Although the last time I tried to use my hole punch, it was a little, let me 
figure out what the best way to do this is here. My hole punch is naughty. And obviously I wouldn't do this like one at a time if I was going to do this to all my pages. I would do a few at a time for sure. But I still don't think it would take very long. I definitely need another hole punch. I'm not sure why it keeps getting stuck, but it's very annoying. Okay, so there's that. It definitely turns easier. So I might think about doing that. I mean, these definitely are a little tight. I think that they tried this different shape just to see if the pages turned better. And I, I don't know, maybe I'm not turning them correctly, but let's see. Let's go ahead and just take a few of these out. I'm so glad I got the pink. It's so pretty. All right, let's try this again. So what about you guys? Are you guys changing anything up for 2020 as far as your planner system is concerned? Or are you pretty much keeping it the same as you'd planned for 2019? I am thinking I'm still going to continue with my life planner binder. I do use the academic year for my life planner. So I'm not going to change anything there. And I'm obviously going to continue to use the Deluxe Monthly Binder for my budgeting. And then I'm going to add Power Sheets for goal setting. And then I will still continue to use my On The Go Folio for uh, my daily planner as well as meal planning and a few things like that. So no major changes from me. I pretty much loved how my planning system for 2019 worked, so I'm definitely going to just continue. Like, why fix it if it's not broken, you know? Okay, so let's see. Much better, much better. So I do think I will go through and just punch the holes with a regular, you know, cheap old quarter inch hole punch because they definitely do turn much easier than these small holes. So I, again, if you know why Erin Condren cut the holes like that, drop me a comment and let me know because I would be very interested to hear that. So let's go ahead and add the adhesive corner pockets. I like to be able to keep my um, spending tracking stickers in here. So this goes on very easy and it's super duper duper sticky. So if you guys haven't used one of these before, I would definitely recommend them. They come in, I think, two sizes. So there's the medium and the large, and then they just stick on there just like that. I mean, easy peasy. So there's that. Then I might actually stick one on the back. It does come with this kaleidoscope pocket right here, but I really like the adhesive corner pockets. So let's go ahead, actually let's think about this. So one problem that I do have with the adhesive elastic pen holder on my current budget binder is it comes off. So I'm wondering if I move it down a little bit and put it under the adhesive pocket, if it will stick and not, I mean, it never comes off completely, but it does lift a little, which is kind of a little annoying. So let's go ahead and try and put this pen loop 
I love this little asterisk right here. It's just a, such a cute touch. Let's go ahead and first off, let me put a pen in it. Usually I, I don't stick the whole pen in there, but maybe I will this time just to make sure I get the placement correct. Phew, that is so sticky. So we could probably go about right there. And then this, I think that would probably be okay. So let's stick that down. I'm going to go ahead and take my pen out now so it's not in the way. And then let's go ahead and put the adhesive pocket on top of that. And then we'll just see how that works. I have not done that before. So maybe I'll wish that I hadn't done that, but maybe it will work out just fine too. And I'll be like, oh, that was a really good idea. There we go. So that's it, you guys. I am so excited about this. I just can't even tell you how excited I am. So let me know. Have you guys thought about trying the binder? Do you like the binder? What do you think Erin Condren should change about it? Go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I am sorry for the shadows. I'm still trying to figure out my lighting in my new studio. Plus, we are in the dark season here in interior Alaska. So right now it gets dark about 3.30. So even, well, probably from about 9.30 to 3.30, it is daylight outside. But it's not super, super, super daylight. So I don't really have a lot of natural light to work with here. So you'll just have to bear with me. But I'd love it if you guys would stick around my channel if you're new here. Um, I'd love it if you guys would hit that red subscribe button. Please do give this video a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below and have a great day. Bye guys.